Okay, y'all, so I am here in Baltimore and I wanted some vegan food. My cousin took me to the land of Kush. So I'm super excited to try it. I got their ribs, jollof rice, macaroni and cheese, and um and candy yams. So we're about to have like oh and I got some cookies, which I already ate these and these suckers was good. So I'm about to try this land of Kush. I've seen a lot of different notable faces on the wall. So apparently um, they pop it and they're on beige news. So apparently they, they lit lit. So let's see how the land of Kush weighs up with the vegan food. Okay, so y'all see this? This is the candy yams. Good. So we about to try it. Me and my cousin about to try it because she is not vegan. She vegan curious. So it's let's see. Good though. I don't want to cover you up. Wait, okay, so I'm gonna do like this. Okay, okay so you ready? We're gonna try the yams. I'm scared as hell. Like, <laughs> Come on. It's only a vegetable, so. That's good. That's super sweet. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Okay, so that's right. Okay, so this is the ribs, the jollof rice, and the macaroni and cheese. So we about to try this. Is that raisins or beans? Beans. <laughs> <laughs> beans. Okay. So you ready? I'm, as ready as I'm going to be, I guess. Okay, I'm going to try the rice. You can try whatever you want to try first. Oh my god, I gotta try this unmeat. Mm. And it's supposed to be meat. That jollof is spicy. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so I ain't mad at it. But it's definitely not something that I would um like regularly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that's the consistency of the exposure there. Try the uh, jollof. Oh my god! It tastes like something I had before at um. But how um, do you make macaroni and cheese vegan? You just put vegan cheese. What is vegan cheese? Like cashews and stuff. No, okay. okay, try the rice. It don't taste bad. <laughs> it tastes like cardboard or something. <laughs> I don't know. That's not bad. Yes. You like the rice? That's hot. You sure you don't want to try the macaroni and cheese? It's a sure? little. No. No. Well, but what macaroni and cheese is supposed to be yellowish. And that look like it got gravy on it. Yeah, it do got gravy on it. It is the plate is a little messy, but it's not it's not the best macaroni and cheese I've ever had before. I've had better, but I I, I know the ingredients, so I can take the ingredients. That rice would be good with some oxtails. So. <laughs> I'm just saying. Well, it's jollof rice, so it's like meant to go with like yeah. spicy. Okay, so. I'm gonna eat some more of it, then I'm gonna come back with my full yeah. review of Lady, the Land of Cuss. What you think so, Fire Cuss? That's good. I mean, it's all right. It's just not my steak. <laughs> I can't get jiggy with it. She like, mm. uh -uh. okay, so I'm, I'm gonna eat some more and then I'm gonna come back. All right, y'all. So I am officially done and I'm full as ever. Um, I was extremely hungry, so I scarfed it down, but I'm about to try. They got some cookies. Yeah, well. They sell cookies there as well. These cookies are absolutely delicious. But what I will say is I give Land the Lush um, between 1 and 10. I give them a 7 out of 10. Now, the beef um the barbecue ribs i thought it was gonna be like shaped like a rib more barbecuey it kind of reminded me of 
um, a meat a substitute that I had at Sabanata. The jollof rice was absolutely amazing. The macaroni and cheese had a lot of gravy in it, so I couldn't really, really get the full essence, but I feel like I've had better macaroni and cheese. The yams had like a real citrus taste, but all in all, it was it, it was decent. It was decent. So if y'all are in Baltimore, you're looking for soul food, head over to Land of Kush. They got you. Peace.